Hey, how's it going, everybody? Ken Westerfeld here. And I'm coming at you today to discuss a little bit about the topic of fluke spoons. So you may or may not have heard about fluke spoons. Um, they are becoming popular and with good reason. So the first place I ever heard about them was in my local tackle shop at Fisherman Depot here in College Point. And the owner there, Victor Tang, is a great friend of mine. And um, he let me in on the inside secret of this was the original fluke spoon he was selling. It, uh, it's a spoon that really was designed to target a lot of different species of fish, including stripers and stuff. But uh, he really got excited about using these for fluke in particular. So this was the viper spoon. And um, for fluke, Victor never really liked how the viper spoon came rigged. So he always uh, modified his own uh, hook configuration. But this is part of the original Viper Spoon rigging right here. Um, so the thing with rigging a fluke spoon, according to Victor, is that you don't really want uh, a swivel on one of these because you want this spoon's action to wobble in the current, all right? So a swivel would make it spin, right? And we know from experience that uh, a spinning bait, when you're presenting it to Fluke, if it's spinning, it's bad for several reasons. Fluke, generally, um, they do like a spinning blade, okay? Not to confuse that particular, um, presentation uh, that was a gimmick to attract fluke and get bites the spinning blade creating flash um, but this is a different concept this also creates flash but um, the idea here is to get this to wobble right and the last thing you want is a bait that twists and spins especially when you're fluking, because a lot of times you might use a whole squid, you might use a long strip of squid, you might use a long strip of some kind of belly, whether that be sea robin or fluke or bunker or bluefish or dogfish or whatever have you, mackerel, herring. You can try any number of things, even a salmon strip. Um, I've heard of people using all of these different things. So with these long strip baits, you do not want spinning because then what tends to happen is your bait presentation becomes all askewed. Strip baits tend to ball up on hooks and that is an absolute no good. All right, because... Uh, the fluke is going to come grab that hook, maybe, if he still is hungry enough, because the presentation is already askewed at that point. It's not looking natural when it's balling up. Um, and even if a fluke does come and hit it, it's going to be balled up on the hook, and that hook point is probably not going to penetrate through the skin of that bait and the fluke's bony mouth, right? So basically, you want no spinning, no spinning of bait, no spinning of your, of your entire bait presentation. But you do want that desired wobble, right? So um, th this was the earliest configuration, the Viper Spoon. And then Victor really got away from pushing those 
and he got into, uh, he found a company with a lot of hammered spoon configurations. And this comes in, let's see here, that, that's still a bit longer. So he's got, you know, several, at least five or six in the store. They're not all represented here. I think he's got them up to um, six inches, right? This this one is probably a good six inches. Yeah, so he's got them at least this big, if not even larger. And, um, you know, he's got them from three, four, five, and so on. Um, so you can rig these all you know, basically the same way, and you can do it with a longer leader, you can do it with a shorter leader, you can do it with a high-low presentation, just as long as you get that wobble and you don't get a spinning of the bait. You don't want the bait spinning around, balling up. We did just discussed all that. So um, Victor is selling all of these at Fisherman Depot, I think, probably fishermandepot.com if you want to purchase online. Um, and these are nice hammered uh, shiny fluke spoons in the different sizes, okay? Now, I met up with some people from another company, which uh, became very interesting to me, and that is... M3 Tackle, you see it right in front of you on this tackle tray, right? Tackle storage tray. And um, they first sent me some products. Now you see here, we've got the same shiny hammered type of deal going on on the blade, right? And this is a, a good six inch. It's wider, it's fat, you know, it's probably tracks differently now let's see yeah it doesn't spin all the way either so that's good he doesn't have a swivel rigged into his hook so he's got the right idea um so m3 uh you've got uh ryan marlin and adine baranowski over there and um they make a really cool product in the fact that you just have to see all of the different, many different finishes that they have on their products. They're able to create just about anything, just about any color. It's really impressive. You've got like a sea robin orange kind of rusty color here. And, um, you know, they put different any kind of trailer you want on the back basically we've got you know double hook deals here um different size hooks okay they can make them any old way that you prefer and um then last year working with adine via texting and on the phone um after i had fished nantucket several times and uh, a couple of our captains jigged up some live tinker mackerel for us. And we came up with the idea of um, doing these. Here's a beautiful chartreuse I want to show you, too. Look at that. So, you know, there's, I know there's a lot of chartreuse fans out there when it comes to fluke. And they could just create any color. Here they've got a squid. I'm not sure if this one glows might no i don't think it does but it's got the white and pink very popular okay and then we came out with the uh kw m3 max spoon and uh they have some finishes painted they're all painted like a mackerel one way or the other um so this has got your mac colors this has got your Mac color plus flash. All right, it's a nice attractor and a hammered finish. This one is just uh, flat 
and shiny, right? Again, good with the flash. Um, and they come in all different sizes from six inch, three, four, five. This year they're making a three inch spoon, which is new for them. It's pretty exciting. And here you see glow. All right, so when it comes to fluke fishing, I go crazy myself for anything that glows. I've had a lot of success with uh, glowing things, obviously. Uh, glowing bucktails and skirts and even the spoons. I caught several fish on these. There's just a plain uh, silver hammered. And uh, there's an all glow right there. Very sweet. I really like it. This was uh, the glow that I fished last summer up on um, Nantucket. And uh, I dropped this in Montauk, too, just to give it a try. But I did catch a, a few fish on this. Honestly, I didn't give it... Um, I got it late in the season, so that, that was one uh, negative element. I wish I had it earlier on. And uh, I was so confident in the presentations that I was employing at the time that I honestly didn't give this a fair enough shot when I had the opportunity. Um, I probably should have fished it more. And this year I certainly will. Um, I'll be fishing Montauk a lot more. I'll be, I'll be giving these things a shot out there because there was the big Chub horse mackerel. mackerel in Montauk too. Uh, last summer, and I expect they might be back again this year. Uh, so it's all pretty exciting. There's another little three inch Mac attack that uh, I'm going to rig myself, probably on a high low or something. And uh, yeah, so there's just so many different configurations. Look, here's another, uh, another hook uh, assembly to attach it's ready made and you can just clip it right on so it's all pretty easy um they got like just every kind of color configuration you could think of and um you can rig them a number of different ways and the other cool thing is you know m3 comes out with their own quality rigging system right so they you can get rigs directly from them if you're not into tying your own. Um, it's all good. There, where there's a will, there's a way. And of course, you can fish these with any number of bait configurations on them. Um, you can uh, put a whole squid on. You can put any kind of belly strips on. You can fish your gulps on there. You know, you can... You can uh, fish gulps with a, a strip of whatever. So you can, you know, put um, you can put spearing on it. You can put squid. You can put smelts. You could put mullets. You could put snappers. You could put live snappers. You could put live peanut bunker. You could put anything on these hooks, and I'm willing to bet that it will attract fluke and you will get some bites, All right? Now, you're thinking, yeah, 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 Ken, okay, these things look pretty big, pretty crazy, I don't know, it's a lot of hardware, it's a lot of stuff to lose, it's, you know, oh, what if you break a rig like this off? Well, yeah, but I'm here to tell you, okay, um, last summer, I was on a trip on board the Fish Hawk with uh, Captain Joe at the helm. And uh, Victor Tang was on that trip. And what did I watch him do? I watched him land a 12 and a 13 pound fluke back to back on one of his hammered spoons and he loves fishing these. He's got so much confidence in these spoons, right? And um, I think that was even one of the larger hammered spoons. And uh, on another trip, he, he landed a good 
nine pounder. Um, it was one of our biggest fish that day as well. And um, that was at a time when the fish were apparently on smaller bait and, and we still had a big one bite the spoon. So I have seen some really good results with these with my own eyes. And I, I was fishing these on the Hampton Lady in August and I did really well with them. I hooked a, a couple of decent fish. So, um, you know, there were definitely a bunch of guys on board the boats during those trips in August. Um, they saw how I was fishing the fluke spoons and, you know, I'm sure that they have some curiosity at least, if not um, excitement. To, I know several of the guys already reported to me that they purchased um, several of these. So I think that this year, 2019, everybody's going to be hearing uh, quite a bit more about fluke spoons, right? So I want you to remember those two names, Victor Tang, Fisherman Depot, College Point, New York, FishermanDepot.com, and M3 Tackle, all right? And they are, uh, they are not only making spoons for fluke, they specialize in spoons for stripers and other uh, species. So uh, they are uh, online at www.m3tackle.com. And you can definitely find them on Facebook. They're on Facebook as well. Um. And that's it, fluke spoons. So uh, I look forward to uh, May and thereafter. I'm really looking forward. I'm excited about getting into the fluke fishing this year. I'm sure that all of you are as well by this time. And uh, that's what I have to tell you today, fluke spoons. M3 Tackle, Fisherman Depot. Don't miss out on the fluke spoon craze the new presentation for fluke that is definitely putting some big fish in the boats the last couple of years all right this is ken saying tight lines good luck out there see you soon have a great day